get a dead white man in a box. Not even a casket. Doesn't even have a top on it. In a pine box of old wood. Who do you think's gonna get in trouble here? And could you just describe Bert Berenson? He's just a guy that I, I love to bitch and I would love to be friends with. He, he's just oh. somebody who, he's such a character. He's, he's really been put through the grinder you know, in every way possible, um, you know, mentally, emotionally, physically. Um, and he just refuses to become a cynical man. He refuses to become full of hatred. He still has a good amount of anger, but it's anger that's very controlled. He keeps his sense of humor. He, he, he really embraces the things in life that bring joy in friendship and art and in singing. Um, and at the same time is trying to create medicines that didn't exist at the time to relieve the pain of these veterans who were coming back with the most horrific injuries. And, um, you know, nobody was treating them like uh, returning heroes. Um, and uh, uh, often with uh, 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 facial wounds, etc., that made people sort of run from them as though they were monsters. I think we think of these mainstream blockbuster, maybe superhero movies that you've done as fun on set. But this, it sounds like, what kind of unique freedom did you guys have to really play? I tell you, we could go make, you know, three, four films from the other scripts that we have uh, mm -hmm. uh, from this. But, you know, with David, we always make sure, hey, we get that. But then exactly, we go, we go, we go play. Um, uh, uh, with it and, and, and see what happens. And, uh, and, that, and, that, and that means, you know, the, uh, I love it because it means, hey, the main focus for me, yeah, there's the script, but you really just got to know the character so that you can just pivot and go wherever David feels like taking you. 